Hey guys, Frank, drywall guy. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install a 45 degree inside corner with the straight flex original tape. This tape is made specially for 45 degrees or all kind of degrees. You can fold it like you want. It is paper based, but it's more stiff than the traditional paper tape and the middle of it is even more stiffer so it is perfect to make inside corners like this you can also make outside corners with it but I use it only for inside corners so you just measure how long you need and then you cut your tape and then what I do is I fold it a little bit because it, it came in a roll, so it's not folded. So I just fold it just like this. And then you apply it like, like your normal, normal uh, paper tape for the first coat only. The other coats, it's gonna be different. So you make sure you fill all the, these gaps. Again, only using regular compound, pre-mixed compound. This inside corner here is not very long, so you don't, so it's pretty much straight, just like it is. It, it looks good, it looks straight, but sometimes when they're very long, you'll need maybe to put a laser level on it, but not for this one. So what I do, I install it like this, and with my fingers, I press the middle, and you can feel your, where your, drywall sheets where the corner is so you just press it and try to follow your corner then you can just place it with your fingers on the mud and then what I do I always take the tip of my the tip of my knife here and I press like this to make sure it's it's really solid and then I turn my knife like this and do the same thing it will press wider because like this it's more thin and like this it's more wide and then once this is done you can wipe it this this tape here has the little holes in it so that's good. It will it will show some you new know, little bubbles here, but that's okay. On the second coat, you just scrape this. And on the first coat like this, like this, just make sure that it sticks all the way that is no like folded area that, that are not stick to the to the drywall just make sure it looks good like this i'm gonna show you up close you can see there's no places that it's not sticking on the drywall it's everywhere looks good and smooth and this will always up here you don't cover this with your mud on the other coat so i'm going to show you another video tomorrow when this one is perfectly dried i'm going to show you how to put the second coat and the third coat on it so see you later so now our our inside corner 45 degrees is completely dry so now what we do we want to scrape everything These little holes are made to be, to make it stickier. So sometimes there is mud 
coming out of the hole. Put it here. I just want to make sure you scrape everything. Make it nice and smooth. And then we're going to put a little coat on it. Okay, so now that it's all scraped, or, or you can sand it also if you want. I just scrape it like this on the after the first coat. But then you go and you apply a coat over it, just on the edge. What I mean by the edge, I mean right here. You don't want to touch the middle of it. Uh, doing it while I'm filming is not the best, but just want to show you guys I, how I really do it. And by applying pressure on your knife with your fingers, you apply pressure right and left, so in the middle it will leave a thicker if you want a thicker coat in the middle to hide a bit of uh, this edge. So there you have it. Just make sure you leave no edges here. You want no edge there because it will, it will not be make a good job if, if you have edges. And you, same thing for here, no edge at all. But at the end when you're sending, you pay attention here to make sure you uh, you leave no edge, and then you will always see the writing on the on the paper. That's normal. They're made that way. So when you will paint, or someone else will paint, you'll paint on the paper directly on the paper. It's normal to see the writings. That's what you want. So now we had just have to wait until it dries and we're gonna send it. Okay, so here we are the next day. It's dry. It's time to send it. What I use is a sanding block. And then you send it and you wanna make sure the middle is clean. Like the bottom of the angle here. Make sure it's all clean on both sides. Don't leave anything in the bottom. Also, when you have like a multiple corners that comes together, use your block and use the degrees on it. it it's made like this. And also just make sure that you leave no edge there. So you'll see the writings on the paper and that's normal. You paint directly on this. And that will give you a very nice 45 degree angle or inside corner. All right, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you like that kind of content, it really helps.
small channels like mine. Thank you.